All right, welcome back to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. We're now gonna to return to the tune, Your Cheatin' Heart by Hank Williams. So we've already done a basic lesson on the, the song, learning the basic vocal melody. Now we're gonna learn the fiddle break in the middle. And the same break is also what's kind of played in the fills in between the vocals. And this lesson is part of a new series of video lessons I'm doing about how to play on songs with fiddle, what kind of things you can do, just a lot of different options, all right? And so I'll put some links to some other videos below. But anyway, I'm gonna get into this break and we're gonna learn, I'm just gonna play it roughly and then we're gonna learn it with single, just both single stops and then we're gonna add double stops later. So here we go. So. That's the whole thing. And it happens sort of in the middle of the song after the pedal steel solo. Um, now this break can also be used um, and is sort of used earlier as fill. So like your ch like so like your cheating heart. So if you get this break, you can also learn how to how fills work is the point. Alright, so let's just get into it. Let's learn the whole thing with just sing single notes before we do double stops, all right? So we're gonna start with the first quarter with just single notes. Okay, so that's gonna start D3 and go to A, and then A low two. And then back to A, D, 3, 1. All right. Now we'll do the second quarter of the break. That's just A twice, D, 3, D, low, 2. Alrighty, let's do the third quarter. Alright, so that's a low two twice to three to one on A. Now let's do the fourth quarter. Okay. So the reason why I'd use, normally we'd use second finger here. But I'm sliding the three back. And the reason why is when, if, if you decide to add double stops, it works better to, to use the three because we're gonna slide the three together with the one layer. So just, pr that's kind of hard. You may wanna just practice that a little bit. Good, glad you took the time to practice this. If you haven't done it before and you're a beginner, intermediate, it would be a good idea to get used to that. And then we're gonna, the rest of the phrase is not that hard. A, G, two, three. A, G, two, three. So we have. Again. Okay, good. Now I'm going to just play the entire uh, break or solo with, um, with single stops. If uh, anything is unclear, if you don't have any of those parts, just pause the video, rewind, and practice what you need right now. Here we go. Two, 
Okay, good. And now, um, if you're a beginner, you may want to just stay with that because then adding the double stops is challenging, okay? So if you feel up to it, let's do that right now. We'll start part by part. We'll start with the first quarter, what, we do, what we're adding there. We're gonna add on. Um, so here it is without double stops again. So we're gonna kinda keep down low too for the first part. Instead of playing open A, we're gonna add fourth. And then, and then now we're gonna keep the low two down and play it, play it with open E. So we have. And then we go back to four and, and A low two. Building it up note by note here. And then we're gonna go back to three and low two. And then we're gonna keep low two down still and put it on D1. So the whole phrase. So actually, the low two is sort of like a drone note. It gets held the whole time. So if I, I'll just pluck it and show it to you this way. Here it is, play it again. It's really worth staying with that phrase because I think if you get the idea with this alone, the rest will fall into place. So let's loop on this one phrase with double stops. do that more on your own right now. Let's move on. The next phrase without double stops, second quarter was. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play A low two and instead of open A, D fourth finger, which is the same note, that's also A. Same as open A, but D four. And we're gonna go. Do that note, that note twice with A low two and D four. And now we're gonna do A low one and D three. So we have, and then we add D low two and open A. So here's the whole uh, second quarter. All right, with double stops. Um, once more. All right, moving on to the third quarter. And by the way, you may need to practice that more. Don't be in a hurry to get through this. Maybe you need to stay with that second quarter. So without double stops, the third quarter is this. So we're gonna add um, E low one as a drone for the first few notes. All right, so just held, same thing. But we're holding down also E low one. And now we're going to do A one and open D. So that whole third quarter with double stops. Again. Let's move on to the fourth quarter um, with double stops. So first with single stops, we're going to go. We already did that, so now we're gonna add, we're gonna put down the first note when we're playing D3, we're gonna add A1 as the double stop note. And we're gonna just, this is kind of cool, we're gonna slide these two notes together. It's hard, but try it. It's definitely, this is another point where you could pause and practice. And then we're gonna add a low two and fourth finger. So. 
Ooh. It's hard. That one's really hard. A, low, two, and fourth. And then to end, end this, we're going to go G, two, with open D. And then G3 with D1. There's those last two notes. You can make a little loop out of that. All right, so again with single stops, the fourth quarter is. And then with double stops. And a nice idea or practice technique is to, to do this, do it with, without double stops, singles, and then doubles, and, and continue that way in a loop, like so. All those double stops are hard, there's other ways to do it, like you could do A low 2 and D1, it might be easier, or just, so the other ways to do it, just make it sound good is ultimately the thing, if something's technically too hard that I'm showing you or that you're trying to learn, ultimately, you know, you push yourself, but at the same time you want to make music, you want to to sound good, you know, what's the point of doing something really complex and hard and if it just doesn't sound good? Um, so that's important, I think. You're ma we're making music. Even if you're a beginner, you should be making music. So if you have to cut away a few fancy things in order to make it sound like music, then just do it, all right? All right, so hopefully that was helpful and we'll see you next time. Stay tuned for more um, ideas and suggestions, just take this as all as suggestions on how to play on songs. What the heck do you do with this thing when you're playing on a song? People are like, let's jam. That's the whole point of what I'm trying to do with this next series of lessons. All right, take care. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent.